Hey everyone, Tom here. Today I'm going to show you how we boost our phone and cellular data connections, and particularly how we take our simple little uh, car cellular booster and connect it to a big powerful antenna and make it just as powerful as some of the big expensive boosters out there. So for our life on the road, cellular connectivity is critical. We use it for both our phones and our internet connections. So we need to be able to remain connected anywhere we go. So we've opted to use this cradle type booster and it's really designed to work in a vehicle like we're in the truck right now. And the, how it works is it has um, an antenna that comes in and this antenna runs out and we run it out through up. It runs up and it sits on top of the roof like this. And this is what they call a ducky antenna. And it's this little tiny antenna and it's designed to capture cellular waves, actually not directly to the antenna, but off the roof of the truck. They bounce off the roof and up into the antenna and it works pretty well. So the device takes the cellular signal that it gets and it amplifies it and it rebroadcasts it in a really short little radius around it and then you take your device like your phone or your internet device here and you set them in the cradle. And we've actually found that you can put more than one device directly in here as long as it's within a couple inches of it and get a boost on more than one device. This thing works on every network that we've tried it on, AT&T, Sprint, uh, Verizon, and T-Mobile are the networks that we've used it on. It has a, a little USB port here that you can use a short USB to plug into your device, which is, is nice. And then this is just the power cord that plugs into uh, your truck. So while this works pretty well in the truck, we also wanted some way to boost cellular network in our RV. And there's a lot of options out there that you can purchase and install, but they can be quite expensive. So what we decided to do is modify this to work in our RV as well. So now we wanna use this cradle booster in our RV and here's where things get fun. I've found that this is actually a really good option to use in your RV because all the other uh, more expensive, powerful cell boosters on the market utilize another secondary internal antenna to the RV. What they do is you put an outside antenna on your RV and you put an internal antenna to the RV and you rebroadcast the outside amplified signal into the inside with another antenna, just like this does, except this only broadcasts it right here. So there's no way that it can interfere with the outside antenna. When you have an internal antenna, you have to worry about possibly creating a, a loop or interference between the two antennas. So you have to position them properly and you could actually degrade your cell quality by doing that. And I have messed with that in the past on a larger industrial scales and it can be a real pain. So I chose to use this so that I don't have to worry about that. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to connect this to a powerful directional antenna outside so that we can get the best possible amplification with this little tiny booster. So what I did is I adapted this to work with a cable and another antenna and I had to go out and I get a, got an SMA male to N female adapter. And what I do is I connect it to the back of the cell booster just like so. Then I got 50 feet of Wilson 400 low loss coax cable with N type connectors on the end. And this, this is a really thick low loss cable and you want to go with low loss cables so that you don't lose any of your, um, any of your signal as it travels through the cable. So um, it's a little more expensive, but you're going to get a lot better quality doing this. With that adapter, you're going to be able to screw this giant cable into your cellular cradle booster. Now the reason that I have it set up here is that I found a route outside our RV without drilling any new holes in the walls or anything. And uh, we'll go to the other end and I'll show you how we connect the antenna on the other end now after this. But all we take is we take the USB plug that normally would plug into the cigarette type lighter in your, in your truck and we, um, we connect it into our, the same plug that we have here in the RV. You could also use a USB adapter and plug it into a 120 volt or whatever power source uh, you have for the USB to power the booster itself. All right, so here's the other end of my cable, and right now I've just got it pouring out the side of the RV. Normally, I run it into the water box and then out with the hose so that there's, there's no holes in the side of the RV or anything. Uh, as you can see, it's got the same end connector on this end of it, and the reason is because it's designed to connect to this. This is the Wilson Electronics 700 to 2700 megahertz 50 ohms directional antenna, and 
Um, I mounted it on this pole here. I just got this pole at, at Home Depot or something. I've got all this stuff on Amazon except for the pole. I will put links to everything in the description below. And what we do is we connect the cable to the antenna just like this. And then we extend the antenna up in the air on this pole. So then I take this pole and I brace it against the ladder on the back of our RV to get it way up in the air. Now when setting this up, you wanna make sure that you've got the antenna connected all the way back to your booster before you turn your booster on because it's designed to work with this load on it. If it doesn't have the load on it, it can overheat, damage itself. It'll actually give you an error a lot of times and won't turn on. Otherwise you just turn it on and it starts boosting and that's all there is to it. But to get the best signal quality, you wanna find the cell tower. And for us, we're usually boosting internet. So what we do is I come out here with an iPad, I create our Wi-Fi network and I come out here and I put this up and then I start taking speed tests and I start rotating this antenna until I find the fastest data rate. And even if we have pretty good cellular connectivity, this will always increase our data speeds. Um, we usually get about a 10 to 15 dBi boost on our cellular connectivity. Uh, it helps with both voice and data, but uh, it always increases our data speeds. And with this setup, there's really only been two places in this entire country so far that we've found that we could not get any cellular uh, connection. So we've been using this thing for about a year. You can see it's kind of beat up or so, but it's works very well. I chose to get about 50 feet of this cable. You can get longer lengths if you need it to, because we have to run all the way out of our rig, all the way to the back and then up high in the air. Um, this whole setup cost us around $200. The next, uh, next quality that you're gonna get this kind of boost with is probably gonna cost you around four to five hundred dollars so it's a considerable cost savings doing it this way and you also get the benefit of being able to move the booster from between your RV and your vehicle so there you go that's all there is to it you just put all the stuff together plug it in put your device in the cradle and away you go we've been very happy with this setup and all the links for all the parts are in the description below if you're interested in doing the same thing. Thanks for joining us. Let me know if you have any other questions. We are the Mortons on the Move. We travel full time in this RV around the country. Please subscribe for future tips and tricks.